Someone asked me how to make teaching coping skills fun and I can't find the comment now to, you know, do the comment thing, but I'm gonna answer it. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. First rule of coping skills is usually it's helpful to not tell them you're teaching them coping skills, talk about coping skills. You can talk about when you would use them or things like that, but something about the word coping skills seems to really trigger kids activate them, whatever word you prefer to use, if they um, have had experiences where they've tried to learn them before and have been resistant. A lot of times I'll be talking to parents after sessions and I'll be like, we worked on coping skills and they're like, what? Because they don't even realize what we're doing is coping. I'd only work on probably one at a time because we don't want to overwhelm them or bore them with learning all the skills at once. And I know as a parent, we want them to just have the skills. So we want to teach them and just have it done. But one at a time is the best way to go. I'd make them as fun as possible and you participate and be as animated and into it as possible in your normal way. Right, so if you're not normally a super energetic person and you're being really energetic, they're gonna call bullshit on that and know that it's fake. I'm just gonna share two things that I've made fun coping skills. There's a ton of breathing things on YouTube that are like animals, you could do it that way, act it out while you do it, make it a game, you know, practice it three to five times and then maybe ask them what they notice about their body or how they're feeling or what thoughts came to mind. The other two are I lay poppets out all over the ground and we play the floor is lava. And each time they go from poppet to poppet, they have to stomp on it really hard. So this helps them with the movement piece. And then if they tend to be more angry, they can stomp. The other one is the superhero push. You can change this to be any character that your kids like. Um, lots of kids love superheroes, so this works perfect. I have them push against a wall like they're gonna do a wall push up but just keep pushing as hard as they can and they pretend they are whatever superhero holding something together so there's a scene i think in spider-man where iron man holds the fairy together i use that one a lot if it, my kid the kids i'm working with love spider-man and have seen it you can use any kind of reference similar to that this is great for anger and is also physical and gives them a physical way to move anger throughout their body if you like these ideas, let me know and I will post more of them. If you're looking for how to teach your kids coping skills, why coping skills are useful, when to intervene in the middle of a big feels moment, check out our coping for kids video course in our store.